When we think of David, we think of David the Boy King! We think of David the Giant Slayer! We think of David the Shepherd. I mean, I do. But we probably don't ever think of David, the man who feared for his life. No one wants to think of David, the man that feared for his life, but he did. And that's what we're going to be talking about this Sunday morning. David, when he was being chased by Saul and he feared for his life. Let's talk about it. But when you think of David, the very first thing you think of is David, the man that killed Goliath. And that's absolutely something that he did. He did so many other things too. I think of David and his mighty men, but this Sunday we're talking about David when he ran from Saul. <laughs> king Saul was once an obedient man of God. But his and see, David was anointed king when he was a teenager. And in 1 Samuel chapters 21 and 22, we get to look at the story of when he was running from Saul. And we're going to talk about this Sunday, the fact that when we're afraid... <laughs> and we let fear rule our life, we make bad decisions. And we can see that in David's life. David was anointed as the king of Israel when he was a teenager, and problematically, when Saul was the king of Israel. Of course, Saul didn't like that, but to make matters worse, David then went on to kill Goliath. And he began getting all of this attention. In fact, crowds would chant, Saul has killed hundreds of men or thousands of men. And David has killed his tens of thousands. He was getting so much attention for the things that he did that it made Saul incredibly jealous. Saul decided because of his jealousy that he was going to kill David. <coughs> and so David was petrified and he ran to the only safe place that he knew of the temple and he saw the priest in the temple and he talked to the priest and, and kind of even lied to him hoping to keep his safety and then the priest offered him the only food that was there which was this bread that was consecrated for the lord he gave that to david and then david asked him how many swords do you have because david was afraid for his life the only sword that the priest had because it was the temple was the sword that David took from Goliath that he used to kill Goliath. And so the priest went and got that sword and gave it to David and David used it and it made him feel safer. David was being ruled by fear. <coughs> and because of that, he lied to the priest. He involved the priest in things that the priest probably shouldn't have been involved in. He was making bad decisions. When we let fear rule our life like David did, our fear, our, our desire, our decision to be led by fear affects those around us. In fact, David's decision ended up causing the priest that helped him to be killed by Saul because Saul found out that he was helping David and it made him so angry, he took him out. I mean, took him out. And David had to reckon with that himself. We're going to be learning all about that lesson, all about that passage of scripture this Sunday where the big idea is, I don't have to be afraid, I will put my trust in God. We're gonna say three things about that this Sunday. Thing number one, a mind filled with fear makes bad decisions. If you allow fear to rule your life, you will make bad decisions. Two, your bad decisions don't just affect you, they affect others too. Three, we're going to say, say no to fear and yes to trusting in God. In fact, we'll find out that oftentimes the thing that we're afraid of, God will use to bring about his glory. Once I was swimming out in the ocean, way out deep where I definitely couldn't touch, and I was swimming, and when I decided to come back in, I was going, 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 and when I looked up, I saw this dorsal fin pop up, and I thought, man, I'm going to die. Then two, I look over here, and I see another dorsal fin pop up, and I thought, this is it. This is the end. I'm, I'm going to die by sharks. Well, what? And I realized that it wasn't sharks. I was swimming in with a pod of dolphins. It was really cool. And it should have made me feel good because where there are dolphins, there aren't sharks. 
But no, my brain took what was one of the coolest moments or should have been the coolest moments of my life and made me think, well, this is how I die. I'm gonna get attacked by potted dolphins and taken out to sea. They save people, but that's only because you can't hear from the ones that they kill in the ocean. When we let fear have a foothold in our life, we take what should be really cool, awesome moments, moments to tell people about God, and we lose it, we squander it, it becomes awful things. God wants to use those moments. He wants to use those things we're afraid of to further his kingdom and bring people to him. So this Sunday, our memory verse is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. And it says this, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. This Sunday, your kids are going to be learning, I don't have to be afraid. I'll put my trust in God. If you have any questions about it, any concerns, any thoughts, you want something more clear, then be sure to reach out to me or leave a comment. We love you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.